So, hi parents. <clears throat> Hope you're having a great Monday. Hopefully your kids participated in our Red Ribbon Week dress up day today, which was wear neon. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. But first, before I go down the rundown of the activities of the week, I wanna say I'm very, very proud of our counseling team, specifically Ms. Kim Mankey, who's one of our counselors. And she runs a team of students on our campus called the Peer Mediation Team. Those kids help out with, <clears throat> if they're students that have disputes or things like that, and they would like other students who are trained to step in and try and help them um, at the, w with the observation of Ms. Mankey and so forth, then we can do that. But this group won an award from the Dispute Resolution Center of Montgomery County, and they won the Peace Building Community Award for 2022. We'll be receiving that award here in a few weeks and we'll have some media out here and things like that to do it. But I really wanted to tell Ms. Mankey and her peer mediation team of students how proud I am of the work they do on our campus. If you have a child that would like to use them um, to help settle something in their life or with a friend or, or used to be friends, something like that, talk to Ms. Mankey. She can set that up for your child. All right, so this week, like I mentioned, is Red Ribbon Week. Besides today, which is wear neon, because your future is bright without alcohol. Tomorrow is Jersey Day, because drug addiction is a losing game. Wednesday is Superhero Day, because Batman hates drugs. Be like Batman. And Thursday is wear spirit overalls, because it's Panthers United against Big Tobacco. So those are our Red Ribbon Week dress-up days. Obviously, Friday we have a big pep rally. It's the last football pep rally of the year. We have our last fo home football game against Oak Ridge, and we have the Battle of the Classes. So freshmen will be wearing gold, sophomores wear white, juniors wear red, and seniors wear black. Have a really big thing with lots of games that we play in the pep rally to see, and, and points are given to the different classes on how well they do, how loud they yell, and so forth, and we'll see who wins the big spirit stick for Battle of the Classes. If you have a senior child, that's this gonna be their last football pep rally. Probably the last pep rally we have in the fall. We usually do a winter sports pep rally, but that's around January. And then we'll do a spring sports pep rally, and that's around March or April. So this is the last big fall pep rally that we're gonna have. A couple of really cool things for Saturday. First is Fright Night and Haunted House. That's from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. here at the school. It's for all ages. We have a little fun and games for kids from the age of three and four years old all the way up to our high school kids. So we the Fright Night piece is like our fall festival. We have booths and like a festival type things, food and so forth. And then the Haunted House piece is put on by the seniors. It's a separate charge to go through that. That's not for little kids. It's really fun. Senior actors, um, do the, the seniors build it all, put it together. It's called Haunted Hallways, actually. And uh, uh, we have several teachers that help with that, too. It's a big production. They usually earn quite a bit of the money they need for prom from this night. So it's really helpful to the senior class. And last but not least, on Saturday as well, our band has advanced to area. This is the first year we're a 6A school, and we have already advanced to the area round. We, band starts with regional round, and then it goes to area round, and then it goes to state. Last year, we were one point, one point away from going to state with our 5A band. This year, we're in 6A. We're going to regionals or area again. Saturday at Galena Park Stadium, we'll be playing at 3.30. And uh, so you can come out and do that and come back and go to our fall festival and uh, haunted house and so forth if you'd like. Uh, but really, really proud of what band has done. I'll do my best to be at both, but I'll be at band first. So see you guys on Saturday night. Have a great week.